Hi everyone, I am Dr. Sandeep Sharma. Uh, I welcome you to this interview where we have with us Dr. Priyanka. Dr. Priyanka has got a top rank of All India Rank 3 in the recently held INISS November exam in the DM Neonatology segment. And it's a privilege to have her here with us. So congratulations, Dr. Priyanka, and welcome to this interview. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. So Dr. Priyanka, before we start with the interview, can you just share about your background and your UG, PG places? So I uh, did my undergraduation from Molana Azad Medical College and then I pursued DNB, uh, Pediatrics in uh, Dinanath Mangeshwar Hospital, Pune. Okay, nice. And, uh, is this your first attempt in the super specialty INISS exam? Yes, sir. First attempt, sir. And you gave the NEET SS also? Yes, sir. For, I appeared for the NEET SS exam as well. And uh, I secured rank 39 there. Rank 39. So I think the counselling is still pending. But I don't yes, think sir. you need to attend that counseling now. <laughs> great, great, great. So, Dr. Priyanka, uh, can you just tell us about, uh, first of all, how did you prepare for this exam and whether you specifically targeted INISS or you prepared for NEET SS uh, only and what were your strategy for preparation? So, actually, um, I think my base was Nelson. I was quite thorough with Nelson uh, during my graduation only. We had to study really from cover to cover. I was really thorough with it. So I uh, started with Nelson. Then I saw your videos and I made notes from them. And I added it to Nelson. So I actually revised that only. And I prepared for NEET SS. Like I used to study 12 to 13 hours for that exam. Mm -hmm. After NEET SS, I studied only neonatology, actually, AIMS protocol. I think for the INISS, AIMS protocol is a must. Like, you have to study it from cover to cover. Like, they are giving questions, like, picking up lines from AIMS protocol. So, I think it is a necessity. So, I prepared AIMS protocol and Cluharty and some topics from every. Okay. So, every, uh, what were the areas you focused on? Because a lot of students ask, ki, every is not a book. It is a reference book, but what are the areas you feel are important in every? I think I, I read uh, two, three chapters for uh, the fetal part, fetal medicine part and uh, the maternal medications, if that part and non-immune high drops. So I, I actually saw your video. You had made a video about what to study for DM neonatology from every And I read that only. Oh, great, great. So at least I was of some use in the exam. No, sir, you, 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 you were essential for, like you have been uh, the prime thing for this, uh, my ranks in both the exams. Thank you so much for saying that. Uh, so, uh, like when you started preparing, what was the time you decided that, okay, I need to be serious and start preparing? So, what is the ideal time that should be taken for somebody who's in, you know, doing their MD or DNB, they need to prepare for the exam? I think six months would be good enough. Like you should uh, like six to eight hours for six months, but I studied for two months only. So I had to like, I gave 12 to 13 hours, but if you study, like if you prepare early, mm -hmm. so I think eight hours, 10 hours every day, six months is enough. Sir. Okay. So, so that means uh, if somebody is starting a bit early, I think uh, they always have a first movers advantage, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So apart from Nelson and Eames protocol, uh, what was the rule of like, uh, did you read Cloherty cover to cover or you read it uh, selectively for the exam? Well, actually, I had read Cloherty also in my post-graduation only. So I was thorough with it also. Great. And uh, like uh, Prep Ladder has really good videos for neonatology. Like uh, you can revise Cloherty really well from that. Okay. So that helps me. So since you said that you were a Prep Ladder student, so uh, did you solve the Q banks and uh, MCQs also? Uh, I did so. I, I have I like there are stars for uh, everything like covering questions in prep ladder. I have reached the last one, so I I have like used the app completely. Like everything, I've used it really well. <laughs> great, great, great. <laughs> Glad to know that. So see, if you're paying for something, I think it is very important to make complete use of it. A lot of students are, uh, you know. They just buy a thing and then they don't even have a look at it. But I think it showed in the rank which you have got. And it is not just a flash in the pan. You got a very good rank in the need SS also. So, Dr. Priyanka, uh, also just tell us about the differences between need SS and INISS. How different they are, how similar they are. Apart from the weightage of those. So, I think uh, I found the INISS exam a bit more difficult. 
but uh, both of them were clinically based this time like the knee tests also they had questions like you had to come to a diagnosis and they had like two options uh, like you had to choose among them so like i and i had majority of neonatology questions mm-hmm. and uh, so i think both of them are clinical based so, so, so you that- have to be like very good in clinics and theory so 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 that means that if you are seeing and managing the patients i think that part is also very important not just yeah. the theory thing but uh, people yeah that is very know. clinical is very like clinics is very important yes yes true true because end of the day you are going to treat the patients right it, it's not only about cracking the exam yes, so dr priyanka uh, what yes, are the sir. areas from where you found more weightage to be there for iss i think uh, the metabolic part uh then uh, uh, they ask question from antenatal hydronephrosis like that is very important they always ask then uh, infections uh, the fetal medicine part that is very important and uh, some new updates i think bpd like bpd ka new update has come so a new priority has also come so okay yes so to share also sir So, what was your uh, approach for the department of assessment? Yeah, actually, uh, I had no idea about it because I had nobody there. So, I uh, somehow I found one senior. I talked to him. So, he actually told me I I did not prepare really well. I was really nervous before the exam, like before the interview. I read the protocol only, so again mm-hmm. because I did not have much time. There were only seven days, and so I read the protocol and. The interview was fine. Like our uh, they have our skip, and then they have the interview, so it was okay. Okay, fine, fine, fine. And I think uh, because you are uh, you have done your DNB and DNB, there is a dedicated OSCE segment. So I think uh, that ah, uh, so it was uh, done, that worked here also. Yes, I think so. <laughs> that was helpful. Yes, yes, great, great. So, uh, Dr. Priyanka, uh, like uh, now, obviously, you will be joining neonatology, but uh, and you have done exceedingly well. If there is someone, say your younger self, who is going to enter into DNB or any right now, what advice would you give? Mm-hmm. How one should be pacing their preparation over the three years, residency versus the preparation part? I think uh, the residency should be about learning. Actually, the first year actually should be dedicated to. learn pediatrics because we are not very really well uh, familiar with pediatrics so first year should be only about pediatrics then you should actually uh, i think you should read nelson uh, second third year i think um, is for the reading part mm-hmm. and making diagnosis so it is like that and i um, if you prepare like if you are really well in your clinics if you are really well with the theory part um, specialty like the exam you will be able to clear it and was there any issue with the time management part in iniss or you were able no, to not for me so i yes i i am actually uh, a bit fast always like i will uh, i finish early always so i got time to revise also so i did not have any time issue okay another thing which uh, like uh, i just took an interview yesterday it went on uh, youtube and uh, some students then messaged me afterwards separately asking sir please ask the toppers also about from where did they read about the ventilation parts because ventilation abg very frequently it is being asked in iniss so what uh, what clicked for you in those topics so uh, so you have taken a, a interview of um, one scene i saw that interview uh, she got a rank of 2 in gastroenterology and she had told about a youtube uh, channel there is a channel uh, critical uh, for critical care uh, yes, yes. i'm not able to remember it is i saw that channel i understood yes uh, he is from pj only so Uh, that person i saw that uh, i had like he has eight seven eight videos for ventilation so i had gone through those videos okay. so i read ventilation from there only nothing else okay fine fine so it worked for you and about abg yes, whatever is given in nelson i think that is sufficient or you read it from some other source no no so books like nelson and uh, protocol only nothing else fine 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 so it was a focused preparation but you were thorough with whatever you did i think it's a yes good example of uh, you know not making a total khichdi out of your preparation focusing on two or three areas and doing them thoroughly i think that is what dr priyanka did and uh, she is a example for everyone who's going to target the upcoming exams that like how to pace and how to plan your preparation so in the end dr priyanka now you are going to be an emsonian uh, do you want to dedicate this success to someone yes sir so first and foremost my parents and my siblings they have been the pillars like they have been through all of this My younger sister also got a rank of one sir in MCH gynecology, gynec oncology. 
So she's it's Maya a, younger to me, but it's a family of Tomos. So my parents are like they are very happy. Both of us cleared. Yes. And my friends, juniors, they have also been very supportive, sir. And I, of course, you. <laughs> thank you so much. So I think uh, nothing can be more, you know, uh, pleasing for parents than seeing both of their daughters uh, getting into yes. the top top three, top five ranks in the country, and that too in super speciality exam. So I think uh, congratulations yes, to my end to you also to your parents to your sister and everyone related to you. And I we hope thank that you, sir. exceedingly well. Uh, neonatology initial few years from what I what I see what I learn is it it's a bit hectic first few months but yeah. obviously yeah. you're going at the topmost place in the country so wishing you all the very best thank you so thank you so much